All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here. Check it out, sitting in the office. I'm not gonna call it the Freedom Office because right now I just, I feel like our freedoms are going to be whisked away from us in the very near future. Uh, and we're gonna have to fight for them in one way, shape, or form. Uh, yesterday was a day of days. Uh, pros and cons. Some people may like this video, some people may not like this video, but I'm just gonna give you what my thoughts are. Uh, and, and a lot of people have asked, what are your thoughts on what happened yesterday? And to be perfectly honest with you, the thing that I do know is that a lot of people were able to uh, exercise their First Amendment by peacefully protesting the way it should be done. But there were some others who took it to the nth degree. And I'm not talking about the guys who sat out there on the front steps and uh, waved their flags. I'm talking about the individuals who actually uh, made it inside the Capitol building. The, the, the bad part about this is that as people entered into the Capitol building, well, uh, the uh, governing body, the, the, the House and the Senate were in session, which means that there's an elevated uh, sense of security with the Capitol Police. Now, here's what my opinion is, and I'm just going to be, I'm going to throw it out there, and I've watched the videos on multiple times. I sit there, and I wish I'd have shot a picture of it while it was on TV, but uh, watching the uh, Capitol Police, the ones that were in the chambers, as they had their firearms, they were drawn, and every single one of them, well, maybe exception to one, their fingers were on the trigger, which if you're loaded and you're chambered and your fingers on that trigger is the worst place for it to be, which gives me the, the ultimate thing is like to watch these people with their fingers on the trigger. It just blows my mind. And then some of the guys were like, I think those were secret service guys. No, they weren't. These, these are, uh, these, these were, uh, uh, Capitol police. So, what ha what happens when you have your heart rates elevated, your adrenaline's elevated, you've got people who are bashing in doors, you don't know if they're armed, you don't know what's going to happen, you know that there's a lot of people behind me that I've got to protect, but your finger is on the trigger, and not only that, you're shooting at something, or you may not be shooting at it, but when you bring that firearm out and there's somebody in front of you, guys, if you watch the video, that firearm's coming out and bam! It is so loose. I've never seen her, I don't know what he was shooting, 10 millimeter or whatever, but as he brought it out, bam! That's what happened. And this is what happens when you have a finger on the trigger. And if you're a LEO and you're exercising and you're, and you're drawing your firearm and your finger's on the trigger, you are in the wrong. Now, I'm gonna read something from the New York Post. And this this little this period this thing chaps my ass, okay? And this this is I think they think by quoting what this guy said that, that they're in the right. The mainstream media has presented this thing like, oh my God, it's the worst thing. These people are terrorists. Oh Lord, they all should die and everything. And they're trying to exercise. Nancy Pelosi's trying to get the keys away from uh, uh, Trump. He's she's calling Mark Milley, saying, are we safe? It's just, it's an act. And that's the thing that just chaps, it, it, it kills me is that this whole thing is just an act. But we got the Capitol Police didn't have a choice in shooting Ashley Babbitt, GOP lawmaker says. And I'm going to read this thing to you. The U.S. Capitol Police Lieutenant who fatally shot pro-Trump writer Ashley Babbitt didn't have a choice, a GOP lawmaker said, after witnessing the killing. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to tell you this right now. You got a firearm in your hand. You do have a choice. You have a choice to pull the trigger or not pull the trigger. Babbitt was fired upon Wednesday night as she tried to climb through a smashed window in a panel beside the barricaded double door inside the Capitol. She was part of a mob. Now, if you watch the entire video, there were some people there that I honestly think that they were losing their damn minds. They were sitting there trying to antagonize and uh, incite things upon these guards. One dude was sitting there trying to punch on either side of the head of a captain. Captain kept us cool. There are also armed police coming up in full SWAT gear on the back side. They were actually, hell, if you think about it, they could have been in, uh, in the back range and could have been shot as well. Babbitt was fired upon. Okay, she was part of a mob attempting to breach the house chambers 
Representative Mark Wayne Mullen, rep uh, Republican out of Oklahoma, who witnessed the shooting, told Good Morning America Thursday morning, they were trying to come through the front door, which is where I was in the chamber, and in the back where they were trying to come through to Speaker's Lobby, and that's problematic when you're trying to defend two fronts. I agree. And again, this is part of the thing that some people may not like. If you are going to engage in an invasion where you know that there are people with firearms who may shoot you, then you have to understand that you are putting yourself in liability that you may get shot, okay? And that's the scary part. Now, another thing is that I have always thought and sworn up and down that I would never see an American shoot another American because, because of something like this. But it happened. And again, I think that's because that dumbass, that idiot who's on leave right now had his finger on the trigger. I don't think he intentionally tried to do that. You may say that I'm full of shit, but I personally is seeing how these guys were not trained and how their fingers were on the trigger. I think it was a negligent discharge. When they broke the glass in the back, the Capitol Police Lieutenant, the Capitol Police, a Lieutenant that was there, him and I already had multiple conversations prior to this, and he didn't have a choice at the time. Bullshit. You always have a choice. I think he screwed up. The mob was, coming th th was going to come through the door, and there was a lot of house members and staff that were in danger at the time, he added. You can look through the window and see that there, was an, there were no staffers there. There were no Congress people there. He extended that arm out and went, Bam! And it surprised the shit out of him because I don't think he meant to shoot it because of the recoil that was happening. And when he drew his weapon, that's a decision that's very hard for anyone to make. And once you draw your weapon like that, you have to defend yourself with deadly force. Bullshit. 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 And if, you're, that's, if that hurts your feelings, well, again, like I said, there's pros and cons to everything. But I will tell you this. Uh... She went in through that window, somebody helped her, and that guy shot her right in the damn neck. It didn't need to happen. I think it was a mistake. I think it was an accident on his part, and it was a negligent discharge. So two things happened. One, a riot, an invasion of our Capitol building, which is a pretty much an embarrassment on certain aspects. Some people are proud of this. But what did it do? Four people overall got killed. And I think there's a, a Capitol Police officer who died. I don't know of what, but I will tell you this. This young lady is gone. Rest in peace, Ashley Babbitt. My heart, my prayers go out to you. My heart and prayers go out to the individuals who are right there, who saw it. And I just wish it never happened. And that's just me speaking. So anyway, you guys let me know what your thoughts are down below. Like I said, pros and cons. Somebody lost their life. I think it was an accident, and that police officer needs to pay. He did have a choice. And that's the end of the story. It's God bless America. God bless the men and women in uniform. You think about that. And I'm saying God bless Ashley Babbitt because she wore a uniform. And if you are an LEO, and you're pulling your firearm out, and you've got your finger on the trigger, you are in the wrong period. That is the greatest safety in the world. And if you watch the video, that guy didn't know that pistol went off. I've had a negligent discharge, and when it happens, that's the recoil, because you're not expected, oh, oh, shit. So that's it. 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom's not free. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe now, already done so. I'm a, uh, who am I? KB32. I'm out of here. And those are my honest thoughts and opinions on this whole thing. It took me a day to absorb what just happened. Y'all be good. I'm out of here. I don't know.